Parliament could face another legal battle soon after the legislators approved a government loan request without a required quorum in violation of the House rules of procedure. The 500 billion shillings loan from the World Bank is expected to be used to construct and repair roads in Kampala. Earlier, the opposition lawmakers had insisted that the Lord Mayor Elias Rukwago must first be allowed back into office before Parliament approves the loan. This is the third time we are fighting over cases here. And like I told you, even during the budget next year, we shall fight unless they solve this matter. Even Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya did not have kind words on government's refusal to allow the Lord Mayor return to office. I will not be prepared to preside of a matter involving KCCA again. That uh, Jacob Olanya will be presiding, I will not. Prime Minister Dr. Waka Rugunda then yielded to the pressure. And the government will expeditiously deal with these governance issues. I have looked around. We do not have the relevant and requisite quorum. Will you guide the House? The Speaker had joined the House twice due to lack of quorum. I'm only praying that a miracle happens now. But after protracted negotiation between the government and the opposition side, there was consensus. But we can't say because there is no Lord Mayor in Kampala, so they should not work on roads in Kampala. But the MPs agreed to pass the 500 billion shillings loan, even without quorum, in violation of the House rules. Because it's almost impossible to get the quorum as, as it needs. And if we, if we insist on the quorum, most likely the work of business of parliament will not be done. The spirit of understanding is welcome, but it shouldn't usurp the provisions of the law. It's unfortunate. Uh, the Speaker of Parliament would have uh, understood that there is no quorum after suspending twice. The House needed two-thirds of the members, and that is 125 MPs, to approve their own request, but only 70 MPs were in the House. This could mean that any Ugandan could challenge this decision in the constitutional court and if successful, taxpayers would have to pay the damages. And they could challenge all the bills, almost all. But by the way, there is no sufficient quorum. In that case, the, spirit, uh, the, the speaker is bound to move us to the division lobby and have a head count. Court recently quashed the anti-homosexuality bill because it was passed without quorum. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.